Have you ever wondered how a compass works and why it always points north? This question might seem as simple as the device that inspired it. Yet, the humble compass is anything but. It's a marvel of science, a testament to human ingenuity, and a silent guide that has navigated us through the ages. From the earliest mariners charting unknown waters to modern explorers mapping the wilderness, the compass has been an indispensable tool. But what makes it tick? Why does that little needle always know where north is? The answer lies in the heart of our planet and the invisible forces that shape our world. The story of the compass is a tale of magnetism and the Earth's magnetic field, a journey into the core of our planet and the laws that govern the universe. A compass, a seemingly simple device, holds profound scientific principles within its tiny frame. To understand a compass, you first need to understand our planet. Now that might sound like a grand statement, but it's a simple truth. The Earth you see is like a giant bar magnet. It has a north and south pole, and it's surrounded by a magnetic field. But what creates this magnetic field? It's not magic, it's science. Deep beneath our feet, the Earth's outer core is a swirling, churning ocean of molten iron. This molten iron is constantly in motion, and it's this motion that generates the Earth's magnetic field. Imagine, if you will, a giant bar magnet running through the center of the Earth. This isn't a perfect analogy, but it helps to paint a picture. The magnet's north pole is actually near the Earth's geographic south pole, and the magnet's south pole is near the Earth's geographic north pole. Yes, it's a bit counterintuitive, but that's the fascinating world of geomagnetism for you. This magnetic field extends out from the Earth into space, creating a protective shield that deflects harmful solar radiation. It's like our planet has its own personal force field, and it's this force field that interacts with everything magnetic on the surface, including our little compass. The magnetic field lines emerge from the Earth's magnetic south pole and re-enter at the magnetic north pole. These magnetic field lines are what compasses align with. The needle of a compass, being magnetized, will align itself with the magnetic field lines, pointing towards the magnetic north pole. So, in essence, a compass doesn't point to the geographic north pole, the one you see on a map, but to the magnetic north pole. It's a subtle distinction, but an important one, especially if you're trying to navigate using a compass. And it is this invisible force field that our humble compass interacts with. From the molten iron core of our planet, to the magnetic field lines that encompass it, there's a lot more to a compass than meets the eye. It's not just a handy tool for explorers and adventurers, it's a testament to the unseen forces that shape our world. So, how does a tiny compass interact with Earth's massive magnetic field? This is where the magic of magnetism comes into play. To understand this, we must first grasp the concept of magnetism. In layman's terms, magnetism is a force that pulls certain materials towards it. It's like an invisible field that surrounds a magnet, creating a sphere of influence where it can attract or repel other magnetic objects. Now the needle of a compass is no ordinary needle, it's a magnetized sliver of metal, this means it's been imbued with its own magnetic field. And here's the crux of the matter, when you place a magnet within another magnetic field, it will naturally want to align itself with that field. So, when you hold a compass, the magnetized needle inside it is situated within the Earth's magnetic field. And just like any good magnet, it seeks to align itself with this larger field. It's a bit like a small fish trying to swim in the same direction as the current in a vast ocean. But wait, why does the compass needle always point north? Well, the answer lies in the way we've chosen to name things. The north end of the compass needle is actually the north-seeking end, it's attracted to the Earth's magnetic north pole. However, in a twist of scientific irony, this magnetic north pole is actually a magnetic south pole because opposite poles attract. But for the sake of simplicity and convention, we stick to calling it the north-seeking end of the needle. So, there you have it. The humble compass, a marvel of simple design and sophisticated science, constantly seeking alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. As we journey through life, we can always rely on this tiny device to guide us. Just like a faithful hound, no matter where we are, the compass needle, in its pursuit to align with Earth's magnetic field, faithfully points us north. But wait, did you know that the compass doesn't point to the true north? Now that might sound a bit counterintuitive, but let's delve into this fascinating anomaly. When we talk about the north, we are usually referring to the geographic north, also known as true north. It's the point where all longitudinal lines converge at the top of our planet. However, your compass needle isn't attracted to the true north. Instead, it's drawn towards the magnetic north. 
The magnetic north is influenced by the Earth's magnetic fields, which are generated by the molten iron swirling in the Earth's outer core. Now here comes the concept of magnetic declination. This is the angle between the magnetic north and the true north. Depending on where you are on Earth this angle can vary, causing the compass to point in a slightly different direction. So next time you look at a compass remember, it's pointing you to the magnetic north, not the true north. In the end the magic of a compass lies in Earth's magnetic field. Now that we've unraveled the mystery behind the humble compass, it's time for a quick recap. Remember how we started at the core of the Earth, where its molten iron generates a magnetic field that extends far into space? It's this invisible force field that's the true star of our story. Our compass needle, a small but powerful magnet, aligns itself with this planetary magnetic field. This is why the compass consistently points towards the magnetic north. But here's the twist. Magnetic north isn't true north. The Earth's magnetic north and geographic north don't align perfectly, and this difference is known as magnetic declination. So, the journey of understanding a compass took us deep into the Earth's core, through invisible force fields, and all the way to the magnetic north. So the next time you use a compass, you'll know the incredible forces at work, guiding you on your path.